Hello and welcome. Today I have another short video for a question that is asked recently in the Laney issues in GitHub. So the user Scott Lee was asking a few details about how to use Laney together with free surfer segmentations. And we arrived to a point that there was an issue with his input files. The input files were at different resolutions. Scott already sent me four files, uh, example files from his analysis. And when I open them in ITK Snap, you can see that one of them is a segmentation file. The other one is where he successfully computed the cortical depths using Laney LN2 layers. And the third one is some sort of activation map, I assume, or connectivity map, maybe. And the fourth one is a mask. So when you load them in ITK Snap like this as main image and the other ones as additional image, everything overlaps nicely. And you might think that, oh, these data are in the same format. But this is not true because ITK Snap can automatically overlay these data sets correctly on top of each other based on their nifty headers. So how can we go about checking this further? For instance, let's have a look at our segmentation file. Let's call math. And here you can see that this file is at 320, 320 and 320 array size. So three dimensional array size. And the voxel resolution is 0.75 millimeter. Whereas let's have a look at our statistical map. You can see that this file is much shorter in the Z direction and also smaller in the other dimensions. It's not 320. And the data resolution at 0.8 millimeter isotropic, not 0.75. The fourth file, when we look at that, so this is also smaller and at a coarser resolution. So how to go about this quickly? Well, one way to quickly resample this data just using ITK Snap, and there are actually other ways, but today I'm going to show you this one. Okay, so what do we do to resample or re-slice these data sets? I first load the target image that I want my data to be in. Here it is, the rim file. Then I load my statistical map as an additional image. Okay, they seem to overlap. Now I go to Tools, Registration, and basically here I don't do anything. I use the Identity Metrics actually, and just click on Reslice. And I can here use Linear Interpolation. And now it interpolated the data, and now I'm going to save it. Uh, let's call it Con002 Resliced. Okay, saved. Now let's have a look at the data dimensions. Here you can see that after re-slicing, now our statistical map gives us the same resolution as our RIM file, which means that now we can straightforwardly start using these data sets, for instance, to uh, have some custom scripts in Python or MATLAB to be able to like logical index voxels and so forth. For this file, where my region of interest was located, I am going to do something slightly different. So I'm closing the statistical map and I'm loading the region of interest, which is FFA, it seems. I load it as an additional image. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, here. So you can see that this is a region of interest. Okay, and now we would like to resample this file as well. To do that, I'm going to again use the same registration tab in ITK Snap and press on Resize. But instead of linear resampling, I'm going to choose nearest neighbor because this is a file that is only consisting on zeros and ones. If I choose linear interpolation, I will have values that are not only zero and one. So nearest neighbor will preserve the binary nature of this data. Okay, and the data is now resized. Now I'm going to save it. Let's call it R F F A F W E 05 Resliced. Okay, now let's have a look at this data dimensions. And here you can see that this as well is resampled to 
the rim data dimensions, which makes it ready to be used for further processing scripts.